Yo, yo, what up, man? What's the word? I'm hot in a motherfucker. I said hot, not high. Hot in a motherfucker. What's the word? I don't want to turn the air on because I'd rather be hot than cold. Damn, it started raining fast up there. Am I tripping? It was just raining. I thought it said Timmy Bradshaw, but the football player was relieved to do this. Looked like it was raining there. Yeah. Oh, man, man, man. I'm still seeing these Giannis fans die. <laughs> Y'all niggas. <laughs> Fanboys. Let me rephrase that. Fan Fanboys. Because I'm a fan. Fanboys. This is a fanboy. Let me tell y'all what a fanboy is. A fanboy disregard any criticism of a player. Whether it's true or not, they disregard. A fanboy see nothing wrong with their favorite player. A fanboy, anything the player does is right. A fanboy is basically borderline man worshiper. That's what a fanboy is. Okay? That's a fanboy. This is what's ruining the fan basis in its totality, bro. That is the problem with the NBA now. It's too many fanboys. You niggas are ruining the sport of basketball, man. You got to go. Anytime you can't critique a player that's a problem that when it's clearly criticism that need to be involved not slander criticism that's that it's not slander me personally I don't like slandering nobody I don't slander nobody. I criticize. I critique a person's game. And it sounds like slander. Because that's your favorite player and you in love with that motherfucker. Kobe Bryant is my favorite player of all time. To me, can't nobody touch Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is a bad motherfucker. I could go on and on about Kobe Bryant. But I understand Kobe Bryant's flaws. I understand Kobe Bryant is not the GOAT in reality. It's Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Skip Bayless' voice. Okay? I understand that. Okay? What you fanboys fail to understand is reality of your favorite players, whether it's Giannis, whether it's LeBron, whether it's Steph, Kevin Durant, whoever. You fail, you fail to come to reality with your players, flaws or whatever. If they have a bad game, you ignore it. And whoever brings up that they have a bad game or a subpar game, they are a hater. You dudes disgust me when it comes to the NBA, and you niggas need to go. Like, I can't stand you motherfuckers, man. I can't. I really can't. You, you, it's, it's unbelievable, bro. Now, I'm not here to talk about that shit. What I'm here to talk about is uh, 
<clears throat> what defined the the, uh, the best player in the league? Okay. Uh, Kevin Durant had a quote. Well, somebody had a quote, and he did his uh, attributes. But I ain't finna look for it. But uh, the best player, bro. This is what this is. This is this is a thing where you guys. It's not casuals. It's I don't know what it is, man. You guys, because a lot of you guys is older than me and been watching longer than me. But I just I don't understand what is it about this new era of fans. I don't get it. I really don't. I never had this problem in the two thousands. It's like these 20, 20 teens and 2020s. It's you fans are emotional, bro. You fans are emotional, dog. You you are. You, you dudes are emotional. You get defensive so fast. You guys get defensive so fast. So fast. You made me forget what the hell I was finna say. God dang. You guys are defensive. Okay. I got it. You guys, remember the terms I told you? Oh, excuse me. Remember the terms that I told y'all? Shooter, defensive player, three-point shooter, facilitator, you know, all the terms and everything. Okay. This is the main thing you guys get mixed up. You mix up dominant with being the best. And I keep telling you guys this shit. Every time. In the 90s. Who's the most dominant? In the 90s. Shaq. Who was the best player in the 90s? Michael Jordan. You guys mix up dominant with the best. But the draft class with John Morant and Zion. Who was the most dominant? Who was the more dominant? Zion. Who was the best out of the two? Ja. Okay, you guys mix up dominant with the best. You type of motherfuckers, whoever ooh and are you the most, is the best. That's y'all problem. And some of y'all know better. Y'all been watching the game way too long to get mesmerized with optics and numbers. You guys are, are unbelievable, bro. You are. Giannis had 44 and 20. Unbelievable, yes. Do you know how he got that 44 and 20? With his athleticism. Do you know how Shaq was getting those numbers? Off his athleticism. Now granted, Shaq had post moves. Matter of fact, Shaq was underrated when it comes to moves. That's the difference between Shaq and Giannis. Shaq had a go-to move and a counter move and a counter move to counter move to counter move. So he had game. That's what makes these guys special. But you can't call somebody the best without the fundamentals of the game itself. You are you fans trying to cheat the game. You trying to cheat. Ooh, I love his heart. I love his mentality. Fuck that. That's fine. Kobe had all that. Mike had all that. But if it didn't resort to the fundamentals, what use is it? Russell Westbrook got all that. Are you calling him the best? Russell Westbrook don't have a jumper. He don't have a post move. He don't have a three. He got a borderline mid-range. But are you calling him the best? He got the Kobe mentality. He got that killer Mamba mentality. 
Are you calling him that? No. Russell Westbrook got those numbers off athleticism. You dudes crown athleticism over skill. This is what's fucking up the fan base universe. You ignore skill. It is cheating the game. How are you going to call somebody the best at a game when the game requires skill? How are you going to ignore everything what the game stood for just because your feelings of a player? Fuck your feelings for a player. That's like calling the best quarterback the best quarterback, but he can't throw. Quarterback require you to throw. That's like saying you the best baseball player, but can't pitch or hit a ball. It requires you to pitch or hit a ball. It's the same thing with basketball. You can't be the best player in basketball if you don't have a jumper. This is your problem. And it showed. Game seven, it showed. They took away his drive. He didn't have nothing else. His jumpers was off. Hell, even his layup package was off. He never had a three. Everything was off. They took everything from him. He couldn't bow guard no more. They were calling the offensive fouls. He had the highest offensive fouls in the playoffs. I think he had 21. He couldn't bow guard niggas no more. And then the Celtics were so good, they could hit a charge on your ass. Grant Williams and Marcus Smarts was hitting the charge. They took away his drive. He didn't have nothing else. Now the Celtics took away KD's drive mentally. KD took himself out of the shit. I'm not making an excuse for him. They took away Giannis's physically and took away KD's mentally. Now if KD was in the zone. If his mind was on, yeah, it may have been a different story. But it wasn't. They took Giannis' mind was on go, and they took it away still, and they still lost. How the fuck can he be the best player if he don't have the fundamentals of the game that he played? That is blasphemy. That's blasphemy. And then you bring up stats. Nigga, he's 6'11". 255 with a 7'6 wingspan. He can get those numbers in his sleep. That's like LeBron. LeBron can give you 27, 8, and 8 in his sleep. Why do you think Michael Jordan is the GOAT? He had the skill set, the fundamentals and athleticism and a mentality. That's why he's the GOAT. You don't even know that's why you got him as the GOAT. But they want to crown football players as the best players in the league. <laughs> what the fuck? How? That's why I sit and laugh at you motherfuckers in disbelief. The hypocrisy, you crown Jordan as the GOAT and you got your criteria for him being the GOAT <laughs> but want to crown football players as being the best players in the league. <laughs> you niggas, you don't even know you flip-floppers. You don't even know you hypocrites. You dudes are un- Believable. Unbelievable.
Bele babao. And bale babao. I got that from Bruce Bruce. And he said that shirt is an bale babao. You can't have it both ways, bro. You can't have Michael Jordan as the GOAT and then have Giannis as the best player in the league. <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't do that, bro. <laughs> that's an oxymoron. No, that's not an oxymoron. That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. Michael Jordan had a jumper. Michael Jordan had a post game. Michael Jordan could shoot the three if he wanted to. Michael Jordan was poetry in motion when he played. Okay. But you got Giannis as the best player in the league. That don't even compute. <coughs> that don't even compute. Do you, do you not, not, okay, I, I know, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you see where I'm coming from. That don't make any sense. And a lot of you guys crown Giannis because you don't like KD. That's fine, okay? That's why you crown Giannis. You don't like, none of you niggas like Kevin Durant. That's what it is. You don't like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant showed his ass last year in the semifinals. Kyrie was injured because of Giannis, and Harden was hobbled. Scored 49 points. And I think they lost, what was that, game six? <coughs> lost in game six. You ain't say nothing then. Oh, Kevin Durant ran out as a soldier. He went out as a champion. We love all that you did. We'll be back next year. You ain't say that with him. He showed his ass last year. But when this motherfucker lose, oh, the heavens is giving Giannis a rest. There are more four fine very more favors in the future for Giannis. Us people will find fortune in the progression with Giannis for the basketball gods find more there for it for it. Shut the fuck up. You niggas is disgusting. He didn't have Middleton. Nigga, KD ain't have Kyrie. Oh, there he is. That's the dude they were talking about. Otani. Yeah, it's, it's baseball tonight, bro. That's what I've been hearing about him. He said he the best. I don't watch baseball. I ain't got no choice tonight. I ain't even gonna count. If it ain't St. Louis, I ain't watching. <laughs> Damn, he hit his knee, didn't it? And guess what? Giannis got knocked out the semifinals, just like KD got knocked out the semifinals last year. Oh, have times have changed. You weren't giving Kevin Durant praise. He done gave his heart out last year in the playoffs. Gave his heart out, showed his ass, scored 49. I think he had a double-double that game. <coughs> Laid it all on the line. And shit, Giannis role players was better than KD role players last year. If you you since you want to keep on bringing up Kevin Durant, he showed his ass. He literally gave it all. But you ain't praise him for losing last year. But you're gonna praise this nigga for losing this year. And he played. He lost to the future NBA champions. We don't know what the Celtics gonna be. We don't know.
We don't know. We don't know what the Celtics going to be, but we know Milwaukee was the future NBA champions and KD lost to them in six games. But y'all, I, I don't hear none of that praise for the L that he took, but you praising this nigga for the L that he took. You niggas are disgusting. Then he got one bad playoff series and you you stomping on him. In Kevin Durant. You you dudes gotta go. Like I ain't saying you gotta leave basketball, but you motherfuckers gotta oh you need you need your own form. Y'all need your own club. So y'all can be together and quit trying to spread that favoritism out. The best player requires the mentality, the fundamentals, skill set. Not, not necessarily have athleticism, but that's a plus. Uh, I, uh, IQ, all of that. Now, some players have more than the other. Like, they athleticism stand out more than they IQ. Like, Westbrook, his athleticism. I'm not saying Westbrook is in the best conversation, but I'm just saying, like, his that uh, he killing their ass. This nigga. I'm saying... Westbrook, Westbrook's athleticism overrides his lack of basketball IQ. Phenomenal athlete. You see what I'm saying? LeBron James, same thing. LeBron James, throughout his career, his athleticism overrode his lack of fundamentals and skill set. Yeah, the same thing. His athleticism and his physique and size override his lack of his of skill set. See what I'm saying? Look at Luca. Luca I can jump higher than Luca. But Luca's skill set and his fundamentals and his size overrides his lack of athleticism. You're never going to have the perfect player. The perfect player who got everything. That's why Mike is the GOAT. He is the closest to perfection we've ever seen. Michael Jordan. I mean, yeah, you probably can't say preference because I don't go crazy over athleticism like these casual fans and these modern fans. They go crazy after over athleticism. They'd be all up on Zion nuts if Zion, if Zion was healthy. I, I see it. I see it right now. He can jump over three niggas at one time. Oh, he's the best. Like, these are dorks. Dorks. It's more dorks than real NBA fans that know the game. It's more dorks. They get they go insane over who wow they go insane over that shit and I, I do too I'm not saying I do too nigga get posted right here yeah I'm gonna go crazy and I'm not finna crown on the bench because he can dunk over niggas they go crazy it's more it's it's more prisoner of the moment fans than real NBA fans. Everybody now is prisoner of the moments. Whoever win this championship, they're going to call them the best. If the Boston Celtics win, they're going to say Tatum the best player. If Dallas win, they're going to say Luka the best player. These are facts, man. This, this, this is the type of fan base we got now. It is. This is the type of fan base right now. Prisoner of the moment fan base. Yeah, yeah, they're going to keep on riding with Giannis because they salty. They're going to keep on riding with their fucking narrative. 
They gonna, <laughs> they gonna keep coddling this motherfucker. Cause they salty. <clears throat> Anybody else? LeBron lose, KD lose, Kyrie lose, Steph lose. They gonna go crazy. When Giannis lose, I still believed in you. I believe you were here from the heavens to reach out to everyone here who's in distress. Yes, Giannis, my lord, you are here to find comfort in humans. No matter the loss, you are still mine forever. We love you unconditionally. I literally seen a nigga say that shit. We love Giannis unconditionally. I literally seen a nigga compare him to Jesus Christ. I put this on my soul. I seen a comment that compared this man to Jesus Christ being resurrected in Nazareth. Some No, Jesus of Nazareth being resurrected. I put this on everything I love, about, bro. I promise you, bro. This is what's sickening to NBA. These type of fans has to go. You gotta go. I'm sorry. You niggas gotta go. I need to make a petition. You dudes need to get blocked. You dudes are the worst type of fans. You gotta go. You gots the gap. <laughs> you gotta go, bruh. You gotta go. You niggas gotta go. You dudes are man worshiping. You, you, this, this is who you niggas is. Y'all are man worshippers who are basketball fans. Mm-hmm. Damn, they have the triplets. Ooh, let my girl say we have the triplets. Boy, I'm getting I'm getting admitted into a psych ward. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Wow. Triplets. Damn. One of them gonna be a motherfucking somebody gotta give. Somebody gotta be an NBA star or something. A wrestler or something, nigga. All, all five of us ain't gonna be poor, nigga. One of you motherfuckers gotta give. I'm a Michael Jackson, your ass. I'm a beat your ass till you get it right. <laughs> I'm a beat your ass till you get it right, nigga. I'm gonna beat your ass into a Motown deal. I'm serious, man. I'm gonna beat your ass into a Buffalo Bill contract. You're gonna thank me later. I'll give you therapy. I'm gonna beat your ass. Whoosh, whoosh. Motherfucker. Get it right! Like Eddie Griffin say, I wish my father would my ass into fame. <laughs> Shit. Michael Jackson better thank his daddy whooping his ass into fame. I mean, you was going to get your ass whooped anyway as a child. He whooped his ass into stardom, nigga. You don't get no better than that. That's why parents whip your kids, whip your kids early. As soon as they get out the womb, you don't know what they're going to become. You really can whoop them into what you want them to become. My daddy whooped my ass. And it, it see, with me and him, it didn't take much. I got whooped into great behavior. You know what I mean? You know, it took him about four, five ass whoopers as a child. Got one, I got one beat down as a teenager, and that was it. 
until I became an, an, an adult, you know. But other than that, I wasn't in trouble like that as a child when I was with him. Now, when I was with my mama, I stayed in trouble. But with his ass, I had one beat down as a teenager. And that was it. Mm -hmm. Whoop your kids, nigga. I don't give a fuck what the government say. Whoop your kids' ass. Early. Fuck that little tap on the hand. Whoop they ass. Work for me. Work for everybody. I know they got their ass whoop. Whoop they motherfucking ass. Early. Don't wait till they eight, nine. Whoop they ass at one. Whoop they ass at six months. As soon as they walk, they touch shit down, supposed to pow. They'll remember. Now, of course, they're going to do something else, they children. But every time they do something, wow. Whoop they ass. This is what we lacking. This is, that's why you got the, all these knuckleheads out here. It's bad enough the, the, the music letting them misbehave. You parents and mamas, you single mamas, whoop your kid's ass early. Because he going to be one of them knucklehead ass niggas wearing a bubble coat, sagging their pants, taking the pictures slew footed. Finna get locked up. You see it all motherfucking day. Bubba coat, sagging skinny jeans, slew footed. Ready to rob a nigga. <laughs> this is your child in the future if you don't whoop their ass. This is your child. Mm -hmm. This is your child. So, yeah. <sighs> enough of that. Enough of that. Yeah. Giannis is not the best player. He is the most dominant. Kevin Durant is the best player. Just last, it, this, this, let, hold on, wait a minute. Just last year, he was deemed the best player, right or wrong? Was he widely considered the best player, right, right, right? Am I right or wrong? Right, boom. He lost. Giannis won the chip. Everybody on his nuts. Now watch if Luca win. Oh, he's the best. These niggas are flip floppers. Kevin Durant is still the best player. It, 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 this is the thing. It's not about the wins and L's. It's about that and the attributes of the player. It got to expose game seven, this last past game. They took away Giannis's drive. He had He had nothing else to do. He didn't have nothing. The jump was with brick. He hit one three. How can you be the best player in the league when you are one trick pony? How, bro? How? That's disrespectful to the game. That's disrespectful to the game. Disrespectful. Giannis and KD lost to the same damn Boston Celtics team. Regardless of how they lost, they fucking lost. Fucking dorks. Lame ass niggas, bro. Lame ass niggas, bro. He lost, man. He lost. 
Okay, he lost. Kevin Durant is the best player in the league. If Luka wins the chip, still, Kevin Durant is the best player in the league. Now, wait a minute. Let me take that back. No, 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 no. If this nigga win, if Luka win, I might have to do some consideration, nigga. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Call me whatever on this one, but that brother there don't have a supporting cast like no other, nigga. Who do he got? Tim Hardaway injured. Spencer Dinwiddie did his thing, but he ain't consistent. We ain't know Spencer Dinwiddie gonna score 30. That game seven. And then nobody know that. Hey, I'm gonna have to take some. If this nigga win, if Luca win, dog. I don't, I'm going to have to uh, do some fucking uh, digging. I'm serious. Because it's not Giannis. Giannis not the... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look at everybody mad. They mad. I don't give a fuck if you mad, nigga. Middleton was the nigga doing the scoring. The big shot making and the go-to guy. Giannis, like I said, Giannis was the trash man. He was the alley-oop. He get the alley-oops, the put-back dunks, the offensive rebounds, and the drives. Middleton and Drew was the scorers. I would never call a nigga the best player in the league when they thrive just off athleticism alone with no fucking fundamentals ever in my life. And Kobe Bryant is my favorite player. <clears throat> you niggas praise athleticism. I would never praise athleticism. You gotta have a bag, nigga. You gotta know how to get your own shot. If they take away the drive, you gotta have a jumper. You gotta have a post game. You gotta have a three. If they take away the three, you gotta know how to finish around the rim. You got to know how to finish at the mid-range. You got to have a go-to move. You got to have a counter move. What the fuck? How are you going to call a man who is one-dimensional the best player in the league? That is disres... Do you know how disrespectful that is to the game, dog? Do you know how disrespectful that is to the game of basketball and all the people who played the game? how disrespectful that is to the game of basketball when you call somebody who don't have a offensive game the best player in the league do you know do you really like think about it do you really know how disrespectful you sound when you say that shit all the niggas who played the game who in the gym working hours on their jump shot they free throws they three points they post game Working hours every day on that game, and then just up and crown a nigga who dominate off their athleticism. Athleticism, the best player of the game. Do you know how disrespectful that sound, dog? That means, oh well, I don't have to work on my game. I just rely on my athleticism. That's disrespectful, bro. And it's you dorks that's disrespecting the game. Do you know how long Kobe Bryant was in the gym working on this game? He was one of the most athletic niggas in the game. And he still was in the gym working on this post game. 
He still was in the gym working on his mid-range and his three-point shot. When Michael Joe was getting his ass clamped by the bad boy Pistons, he worked on his mid-range and threes and his post-game. Hours at a time, every day. He could have just stayed with athleticism because Joy was dunking over everybody. No, he worked on his game because he knew he needed the fundamentals of the game. Do you know how disrespectful that is, man? Even LeBron James worked on this game. He developed a three-point shot at 35. LeBron, the LeBron James, even developed a three-point shot because he knew he could rely on his athleticism for the rest of his career. He knew. How the fuck you don't know? Vince Carter developed a three-point shot. A mid-range shot. But you dorks, you lame ass niggas don't seem to realize what the fuck you be saying I'm finna be out of here man I'm finna be out of here bro uh that about it if Luca do win I'm gonna have to reassess Because if he do this with 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 his uh with his uh assisting cast, that'll be phenomenal. That'll mean uh who did he face in the first round? Who was Luca playing in the first round? I can't even remember. I know he beat Phoenix. Who did he play in the first round? Hold on, man. Hold on, people. Let's see. to see who did the who did the Mavs play in the first round? Jazz. They went through the Jazz. They went through the Jazz. Beat the Suns. The defending East, the Western Conference champions, finals. Contestants, they beat them. The same, the exact same team. If he beat this Warriors, and then if he beat whoever Miami and, and uh, Boston, I'm gonna have to reassess. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so if you win this motherfucker, if you win this motherfucker, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how he won, but we gonna see. So I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all, deuces.